Hello and welcome back. So today we're going through more items that have been kindly sent into the PO box. A massive thank you to everyone that has written in. Uh, this is the address as kindly sent in by a subscriber. Uh, the address to the PO box. If you wish to write in, don't feel obliged to send me coins or gifts though. I'm more than happy just receiving a letter. It does absolutely make my day. Um, but if you go to the links to write a letter, enclose an envelope with your address and a stamp on it and I'll be sure to reply to you. Um, I'm a bit slow at replies so you'll have to bear with me on that. So I've got a busy, busy week and I try and carve out a couple of days every few months to reply to everyone. Um, also feel free to plug your YouTube, your social media, your whatever you want to plug. I'm more than happy to give you a plug if you go to the links to write me a kind letter. Without further ado, we're going to get into this massive parcel here. It says, Christopher, a note on why I'm sending this to you. Back in the early 60s, 1961, I think, my father, mother, sister and I started coin collect uh, collecting coins. My father and I also started collecting stamps at this time. We built up a rather large collection, if I do say so myself. All my family has since pa uh, passed on and the collections have fallen into my hands. A few things happened with the current pandemic. The first was I found your posting on YouTube, which ha which got me thinking about the collections again. You led me to the new Mister site where I had where I was able to catalogue the coins. After that, I got into the stamp collecting and went over just what I had. Uh, the stamp. Here, the stamps herein are ones that don't really fit into the stamps that I collect. Having no offspring of my own and no one I can think of that would like having them, it falls to you to be the caretaker, like it or not. <laughs> uh, having watched your videos, I think you would take very good care of them. Uh, this is what happens when one becomes famous, like it or not. I'm not famous. Don't, don't you, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's um, an accurate description of... Uh, uh, what I am. Uh, <laughs> um, the blue folder inside is something different for you. Please be seated when opening. Uh, my best to you. Stay well and stay safe. John O. Jorgensen. Please be seated when opening. Please remain seated for the entire opening. Oh my word! No way! <laughs> Christopher collects stamps. Are these real? These are real US first class postage stamps. They were made with a program offered by the post office for a limited time, which I'm sorry to say ended June 10th. I hope you like them. Your only problem is now you have to come out to the States in order to use them. Oh, I am not using them. They are going in a frame. Look at that. <laughs> I'm on stamps. How cool is this? Oh, John, thank you so, so much. That is so, so amazing. It is surreal. Me, I'm staring, staring down at my YouTube logo on stamps. I know that you could have, you, anyone could probably put anything, but the, the thought to put me on, to, to go out to the links to put me on them, um, is so, so cool. I absolutely love these. Thank you so, so much for doing that, John. Oh my word, look at these. Oh, so these are like the the sets. Wow. So these are like mint sets. Oh my goodness. Maybe we need to free the stamps. And um, look at that. Disney World. I've seen the Donald Duck ones. I've never in, in this sort of... Um, the packaging before always having to uh, steam or soak them off of envelopes these are just I have no idea snowboarding airplanes Crimes is if these are just the offshoots that don't fit in your collection imagine what your collection must look like James Dean one of the coolest cats Oh, they are cute, aren't they? Wow. Look at this. Sonoran Desert. Ah, now this is my wheelhouse. This is where I'm more comfortable with my knowledge. Postally used stamps. These are beautiful. Eisenhower. Penguins. <laughs> Penguins. 
Look at these, look at these beautiful cancels as well. Marilyn Monroe. Wow, these are something else. Look at that. We have to zoom out for this bit. <laughs> Surely these are not real stamps. Surely not. <laughs> Look at those. Even with the, with the mint with the gum on the back of them. Civil War. Wow, we these. Oh, look at those. They're the U.S. Olympics. Just a whole sheet of them. Popular singers. <gasps> look at these. Bing Crosby, Nat King Cole, Al Johnson. They're so cool. Look at those. When are these even from? They are amazing. Wowie, well, thank you so, so much. It was so cool seeing my face on some stamps. Where have they gone? They're under here. They were so cool to see. But then all these awesome stamps. This is so generous. Thank you so, so much for that. That is incredibly, incredibly kind of you. And I can't thank you enough for this. this is just mind bending stuff. Thank you. Next up, we've got this letter. And look at this cool stamp. It's upside down. It's even better the right way up. Uh, we've had, I know we've had a lot of stamps today, so um, <laughs> we'll get into this one. It says, Christopher, I know you enjoy odd shaped coins and thought you would like this one. Found a pile of stamps too. Please feel free to skip the stamps when opening. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a look at the coin. Look at that. How cool is this? $2. Cook Island's triangular coin. How amazing is this? I haven't seen a letter yet. This is going to be the free the stamps episode. Well, there we go. How does that? How does this count as freeing the stamps? We're going to have a quick. We're going to shuffle through them because I appreciate it. we have looked at a lot of stamps. Look at those. So we're going to have a quick, brief glance through these. Look at that. I love these mashing stamps. All the different colours. There's so many to get. Look at that. Doesn't that just stand out? It is so cool. These beautiful colours are these, all these different flora and fauna celebrating what's great and interesting about your country and then being able to ship it across the world. It's like tourism propaganda. Look at this, look at this crowley. Beef cattle. <laughs> that cute little penguin. Wow. Again, some of these sets I recognise. Beautiful colours on that one. Oh, this one looks nice. Oh, there we go. Is it, uh, what is it? Maria Island. Wow. Well, holy Toledo. What a whole load of stamps. We have, we truly have freed the stamps in this video. Look at the beautiful colours on that one. Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, I recognise this. That's a designer Hong Kong stamp. What is this? A dog with a propeller? Oh, no, it's just got a, it's got a harness on and... That looks like it's the stairs. It looks like a dog with a propeller. King Kong. Wowie. Well, ooh, look at that. Christmas Island. That's gorgeous. I've just seen this purple one here I want to have a look at as well. Beautiful colours again. Wowie. Well, plenty of awesome stamps to be having a closer inspection of these are amazing. Thank you so, so much for all of them. And I can't find a name. Um, again, look at this beautiful purple um, Indian stamp with the Ahsoka pillars you'll recognize from the Indian coins as well. Holy Toledo, wow, thank you so much. That's so, so generous. Next up, we've got this letter with this cool sort of football stamp on it. What is this? Uh, not a stamp, cancel on it. Jack Charlton, oh, the, is that the footballer that recently passed away? In, in memoriam of. Very cool. There's more stuff. This really is the stamp video, isn't it? Goodness gracious. How cool is this? 
Uh, Christopher, I hope you can use these in your collections. Enjoy, Katie. Well, thank you very, very much, Katie. We've got some awesome Greek stamps. Uh, Christmas. Another Christmas, upside down. Look at the colours on that. Beautiful blues and blacks. Look at this one. What's that? Oh, it's another Christmas one. Very cool. I love the colours. I like the gold and the reds and the pinks. Amazing. Well, <laughs> I can't believe I'm picking all the envelopes that got all the stamps in. Thank you so, so much, Katie. Next up, we've got this letter. It says, To Christopher Collects, I am a huge fan of your channel, and my little sister called Summer is four years old and is collecting coins as well. My name is Hannah, and I have a coin album and have got 67 worldwide coins. Wow. And have two five euro notes please could you send uh, me some coins to my my addresses I, pe I peeled off the thing with the address on it so i didn't want to give away your address oh my goodness wow a five euro note that's awesome is it what's this is this the i don't know what this is oh these aren't actual they aren't actual landmarks are they it looks a bit brandenburg gatey a bit like the arc de triomphe um but i don't think any of the um features on these Bank notes are real uh, monuments. I have a funny feeling I watched a video, it might have been Half Asleep Chris, a video on that. And then three worldwide coins. I recognize this, we had this one on a recent World Coin Hunt video. This is a beauty, isn't it? Look at that. Singapore, 10 cents, this cool looking seahorse. Uh, French, five centimes. And a German. Give me one Fennec with a demon mark at the top. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Hannah, for them. They are awesome. Next up, we've got this letter. Look at this Chewbacca. I've just spotted it. Is it a sticker? How cool is that? Amazing. Rule the galaxy. <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness. There's so much stuff in here. Dear Christopher Collects, I hope this package finds you well. We are Team BBB, a geeky unboxing channel on YouTube. Uh, we love your videos and have recently started watching your Twitch live streams too. They're amazing. We've enclosed a few goodies for you, some year 2000 coins for the piggy bank, some very interesting looking stamps and a few things we have opened on our channel that we think will make you smile. We enjoy your 50p coin hunts the most, but also really like the world coin videos too, as it is super fun to see so many different designs and styles. Keep up the awesome wholesome content as it's helping us all get through lockdown take care from team bbb there we go check oh check out team bbb look at these cool star warsy stickers that's amazing we've got a little love heart very kind a little minion looks like a trading card like a harry potter card yeah a Wallace and Comet sticker. <laughs> How cool is this, though? Luke Skywalker's Green Guide, Master Yoda. I have recently started playing, well, not recently, a fair for a while ago now, a um, Star Wars trading card game. There we go. Man, I'm going to go check out your channel. All this Star Wars stuff, and we got some stamps. Oh, stamps are the um, are the focus of the video today. What is this? Looks like some sort of frog with a with a quiff. A gecko, lizard, I'm not sure. Some sort of pog, a Marvel Spider-Man pog. Uh, a little treasure chest. The QR code on it. Mmm. And the cute little minion. What's these little love hearts and bears? <gasps> Look at that! How cute is he? <laughs> a teeny tiny little BB-8. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm going to stick that somewhere so you can see it on the live streams. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to pop that over there so it doesn't get lost. Um, so, pennies from the year 2000. Let's get them into the pot before we have a look at the stamps. Oh, pennies and fivepences from the year 2000. Thank you so much. You'll be going on my appreciation board for sure. And then, come on, this is, this is the stamp episode. This is the... The stamps have been freed episode. Oh, look at this beautiful purple on that stopwatch. Oh, I see. Very cool. Uh, Hellas, that's a Greek. 
Uh, ooh, what have we got here? Oh, it's up to this cat. It's upside down. Look at those cool cats. Doggo. Christmas stamp again, that beautiful blue and black. I love the design on that with a nice cancel as well. A Bullwick cancel. So is that going to be like Guernsey? Guernsey? Bullwick or Guernsey? Or I can't even remember offhand. Some cool Chinese stamps. Look at those. They're so like neon fish. How cool. Um, that's bizarre. I'm sure my mother used to have little statues that look like them. Is this the Globe Theatre? It looks like the Globe. Supercar. It's the marvel of the age. <laughs> oh, Stingray. How cool is that? And Alice in Wonderland. Victoria Cross. That is cool that the whole sheet's been put on that. And again, is that a recipient of the Victoria Cross, maybe? D-Day landings. And these cool. I like this abstracty design. What's this? Giant Causeway, Northern Ireland. Wow. Well, thank you so much for all those awesome items. I absolutely love them. And the stamps as well. Holy Toledo. We have really have freed the stamps today, haven't we? Next up, we've got this letter. Shailish Patel. So we've got Twitter, Facebook, and email address there. It says, hello, Christopher. Hope you are well. I am coin coin collector like you guys, and I do follow on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you very much. It's nice to see you and other coin collectors on social media. I have been trying to look for these two pound coins, 2002 Commonwealth Games Manchester, Ireland, and 2012 Olympic handover to Rio. If you do know anyone who may have extra, of these coins to sell i will be happy to pay for it but i need to know at what prices these coins are going before i buy them my recommendation search on ebay for the coins you want to know the values of um filter by sold auctions and then look at the uh, recent ones that are sold for uh, that's all i do uh, i like your tour of britain especially your visit to london uh, i am on instagram facebook and twitter um the, the tour to london when did i that's a, mm, this must be a very very recent one because that video only went up yesterday oh i did post some pictures so maybe this has all come out they've come out from the PO box in a jumbly order uh but yeah i've done i've done a fair few videos uh, to the royal mint and one to tunisia as well so oh, i'm glad you enjoy those i'm on instagram facebook and twitter on instagram i'm under the name of uh, shailish patel by nature i would be happy if you did follow me on instagram facebook or twitter thank you yours sincerely mr shailish patel well thank you so much for your letter that's very very kind of you we're going to finish off with one more letter ah i know what this is so this is something i'm going to feature in a video very very soon it's an awesome book um with mintages and information prices and it's even got what i'm desperate to know more about the strike your own details so stay tuned um for a video very very soon uh, on this one. I'm going to have to make sure I put that video out after this PA box. I'm recording this a bit in advance, so <laughs> you'll have to bear with me on that one. But a massive thank you to everyone who has so kindly written into the PA box. I love this little BB-8. He is so cool and so small. Um, we're going to focus on him at the end for the end of the video. Uh, a massive thank you to everyone that has kindly written in. It absolutely uplifts me uh, making these videos, reading your letters, even, the, even the, these cute little trinkets. I absolutely love them. So a massive thank you to everyone that has written in. Um, we truly have freed the stamps in this video, haven't we? Holy Toledo, does that count as freeing the stamps? You let me know. I'm pretty sure it does let, It does count, though. So there we go. Uh, a massive thank you again to those that have written in. I thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time for more coins. Bye.